New Red Scare reaches fever pitch. This month has seen huge escalation in the new Cold War. From Biden's new proposal to ban Chinese software and smart cars to the GOP-led House passing 25 anti-China bills in just one week. It's clear that the war on China is an issue Democrats and Republicans can agree on. The Biden administration has just proposed a ban on Chinese software and smart cars, supposedly over threats of Chinese surveillance and risks to national security. This would ban the sale of cars with Chinese software, effectively barring all Chinese-made cars from the U.S. market. But what is this really about? Like manufactured fears over TikTok and Huawei, this is only a move to protect profits of U.S. companies. In this case, American automakers that cannot compete with Chinese smart cars. The House passes $1.6 billion to deliver anti-China propaganda overseas. If passed into law, this would direct $1.6 billion to school and jobs and health care. Just kidding. It would be $1.6 billion to the State Department and USAID, representing a major increase of funding towards anti-China influence operations. Also passed through the House, a bill which would revive the China Initiative, a racist Trump-era program targeting Chinese academics and scientists. The McCarthyite Initiative ended in 2022, and most of the charges brought against the Chinese researchers ended in dismissals, of course with many of the defendants accusing investigators of misconduct and racial profiling. The Protecting American Agriculture from Foreign Adversaries Act would prohibit Chinese nationals from buying agricultural farmland as a matter of national security. Legislators are accusing China of buying up all U.S. farmland, but this is more Red Scare propaganda. Of all the farmland owned by countries classified as adversaries, China owned only 1%. U.S. seeks to encircle China and Indo-Pacific. Two bills recognizing the importance of trilateral cooperation among the United States, Japan, and South Korea and the Pacific Partnership Act call for greater strategic coordination with U.S. allies in the Indo-Pacific. In other words, strengthen the military encirclement of China to prepare for war. The Biosecure Act would restrict five Chinese biotech companies and their contractors from doing business with U.S. drug corporations under the guise of protecting Americans' health data and other sensitive information. The real beneficiary? U.S.-based firms and contractors as drug companies shift business away from China. What does all this mean? As we head into the elections, it's clear that Democrats and Republicans are trying to outdo each other over who can raise the alarm on the so-called China threat. Instead of spending money on infrastructure, healthcare, and social programs that the working class desperately needs. These bills are only a prelude to our government funneling billions more into a military confrontation with China. We say no to the new Cold War. These fantastic slides were created by the Party for Socialism and Liberation. Go look them up on all these social medias and give them a follow. Solidarity, comrades.